Lee, can you just get rid of those things with your robot? Come on already. They're just a bunch of lousy pigs anyway, right? Let me run the show. We start mixing it up with those guys and they'll think we're running with the Mafia on this too. Leave them alone, doll. Okay, I can do this for hours. Grandpa, is this bucket of bolts gonna make it or what? Don't you worry about a thing. I got all... <sighs> what is this? A trap? It's the remains of a mass catcher. It was probably used to catch ore sent from the moon. But it's just a garbage dump now. <gasps> really did it! Oh. <laughs> oh, Dad, you're the greatest! Yeah, you're one lucky old man. Hey, you ever consider a career in the export business? Hey, look! There's a colony over there. Hmm. That's pretty suspicious, isn't it? <laughs> Wait just a second, I know that place. Get us out of here, it's Zarukasu! Turn this thing around, we're in big trouble here. What's the matter with you, Bashi? Zarukas is the worst gangster slum in the Earth territories. The syndicate to beat all syndicates. This is the place Red Harvest calls home. So what? what? These guys are in the same business as you are. So what's there for us to be afraid of? There's everything to be afraid of, Melinda. Not even the UN Army sets foot in their territory if they can help it. So us going in there is not a good idea. Lynx, get us out of here. No, we're going in. Huh? They won't advance. Even the LEVs know better than to get too close. Come on in, dollface. Let's go see what Zarugasu's got to offer. Okay! You cannot be serious. You have no idea the power you're messing with. We don't have many choices. Might as well take a risk and go with the alternative. This could be a lot worse than the alternative. Stop your whining. Let's all try to keep positive, okay? Uh. <laughs> oh, what's that? I'm really thinking positive thoughts about this, Lynx. Well, they've got us now. Great. You do have a plan, don't you? Hey, Dad! Hmm? Shouldn't we do something? It's under control. What kind of father would recklessly endanger his own children? Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Way to go! <laughs> hey, Gypsy. Am I part of the family, too? Will you protect me? Get some weapons together. We won't let them get the ship, but if we're boarded, we're going down with a fight. Right! Down with a fight! Yeah, this guy's crazy if he thinks we'll escape. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the trusted father is willing to meet challenges and confront danger. To win trust, you need action and not words. Who does he think he is? Dang! You're fighting too, Bashi! We're going to take on the Syndicate like this? Mm -hmm. uh, you're as crazy as the old man. Let's go for a little stroll now. What's out there? Just more bad guys. Oh. Welcome to Sarugasu. We always welcome those bearing gifts. Your ship will do quite nicely as an offering. You think so? I'm gonna have to disappoint you on that one, pal. It's an all or nothing kind of offer, but we're not particular. Killing you's just as fun. Take my grandma a message in heaven, will ya? What about your grandma? Yeah, tell grandma this. Tell her I dropped her false teeth in the toilet bowl on purpose. Huh? Say your prayers, Ender. Wait a minute. I've heard that lousy joke before. The satellite crash incident. 
We were taking off! The Russian Rasputin? No way! Rivero! Lynx! How the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, at that point I was starting to get a little shaky. Satellite just wouldn't bust up, know what I mean? We were dropping at a ridiculously high speed. Something went completely haywire with the fallout calculation. It was getting mighty hot in that cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> hey there, you getting all this, boy? He always thinks he knows when a fella's bought the farm. Know how many guys have taken messages to his grandma? 34 guys in the satellite operation alone. But never you, Lynx. You're unstoppable for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, it's been good catching up with you after all this time, Romero. But I have a little business to ask you about. Ask me anything you want, pal. You've tossed my rocks out of the fire at least a dozen times. If it wasn't for you, I'd be with Grandma. I understand Red Harvest has a smuggling operation. I mean, that's their business. So they have a long-distance Wollenbeck-type catapult, right? That's it! With a catapult, we could get to Mars fast and leave those LEVs in the dust. We need to use it. Get us to that catapult. You can do that, can't you? Yeah! I don't know if I'm the right man for this job, but I can introduce you to the man who is. Who's that? The head of Red Harvest, Mr. Ron Powell. <laughs> Dollface, you just stick out too much. I need to find a better way of blending in. Hmm. A golf course and a colony. Well, now I've seen everything. I guess that's Ron Powell's estate. Hey, old man, how are you going to negotiate with Ron Powell? With money, of course. From whom? I'll get it from you. Everybody's a comedian. I wasn't being funny. Huh? Nice shot. Hmm. Uh, really? Just how nice was it? Uh, 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 Great Scott! Meet Mr. Ron Powell. Hey, Lynx! Uh, uh. Mr. Powell? Romero here tells me you want to use the catapults. That's right. I'm trying to get my family to Mars as soon as possible and without interference. Not my problem. Huh? I don't like picking up the mess of other people's petty criminal lives. I suppose there is a reward for you, yes? Uh, uh, hey, wait a minute! Romero, tell him! I said I'd introduce you! You're on your own! Rat Fink! Run for it! No! You know, there's just some days you just shouldn't get out of bed. No! See ya, dollface. Good idea, an armored disguise. Calling all LEVs. Let's mop these intruders up and fast. Hold it, Blockhead. Oh. I want to hear more. Come tell me your whole story. You may yet prove useful to me.
Fancy contraband operation here. Hmm. They're not amateurs. Huh? Huh? Oh, look! <laughs> it's Metatron, isn't it? Oh, I've never seen so much. It's got to be worth a fortune. Just think of all the things, all the stuff, jewels and furs and fancy clothes. Don't get any ideas. Besides, that ain't even the tip of it, Melinda. You could probably buy a whole colony with that, the way the Metatron market is. I wonder who could be fencing this much of it. Metatron. That's what he said. Orbital frames are made with Metatron. Dolores probably isn't the only one. Someone's building an army. But what does that have to do with us, with Dad? What's going on? Hello, Leon. Snap out of it. Okay, I'm all right already. Don't look it. I said I am, and I am. You! Guy in charge! What do you want? Ah, oh, the catapult! <laughs> Okay, so you have it all right. So what is it you want from me in trade, Mr. Powell? I'm expecting payment from a trading partner. Even as we speak, it's a delicate situation and needs a delicate touch. But there are certain government agencies sniffing around. Normally we pay off these snoops, but there's always a hero. In this case, we have this troublesome, nosy surveillance satellite. Though we're shielded from it for the time being. But all that could change at any moment. If it did and were spotted, it would be very inconvenient. I don't like to be inconvenienced, Mr. Lynx. You understand me? You want us to destroy the satellite so it won't interrupt the payoff? That's right. Decatapult to wait. If you succeed. <sighs> If you fail, however, you die. Zarugasi is a hard place to crack, sir. Not to mention certain payoffs to certain high officials. Don't bother me with dirty politics now, Samiji. We'll have to draw them out. We just need a plan to flush that Martian-loving John Carter and his half-breed brat into open space. Think of something, Sammy J, and then try and catch me. Yes, sir. Sir Uncle! Shh! Don't speak. Right now, you're just a regular LEV like all the rest, okay? But when we get out there, Dollface, we'll be going into some serious action. Hey, get on with it over there! Roger that. Well, Leon, well, Noel, I'll protect you two with my life if it's necessary. Just trust in me. Sir Uncle, your breath is ticklish. Huh? <laughs> hey there, Dad. Hey, Daddy. We're here at Ron's estate. He invited us. Oh. It's great. Oh. He gave us dinner and everything. And some great wine. That's Ron's a really generous guy. I just love rich people. Romero's been telling us great stories. Your son's great. We're getting along swell. Have fun, Dad. Ron said there's going to be a reception waiting for you out there. Don't you worry about us at all. We'll just kick back till you're finished and come back here. Yeah. Don't have too much fun out there. Have a nice Bye. Happy trip, you, Sexy Boy. Bye. <sighs> that was sure strange. What's the matter, Sir Uncle? <laughs> Never mind, Dollface. Let's get to work. Right. Coming up on the satellite now, doll. 
Go ahead and put us in stealth mode. Oh. We'll be in the relay hookup system shortly. What's going on out there? <laughs> oh, laser sights are so deadly, especially 129 of them. <laughs> you mean real laser sights? Melinda, so what with you? Marry me, all right? All this running around's got me thinking. What? You must be out of your mind. I sure don't want no mafia husband. Well, you're not marrying Dad. I've been keeping my eye on you. And Dad's got Mom anyway. We all know she's still alive. Oh, my, you poor deluded child. It's really tragic. So just take your hooks out, all right? I think Jibsy can decide for himself. What do you kids care anyway? You don't appreciate your old man. What's to appreciate? Him getting us wrapped up in this nightmare? He never thinks before he acts, you know. Yeah, but that's not a bad thing. What? It shows it's from the heart. No matter how stupid or misguided it may be. Like, take for instance, him going out there right now. He thinks he's going to find a surveillance satellite, and not the whole UN Army. What? UN Army? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> I should have known it was too easy, so let's get in and out. I guess we forgot to mention that part. There's no reception out there except the military one. He's playing decoy, so Ron's payment will come in safe. He'll never make it stupid, but his heart's in the right place. <laughs> what? I thought you and our dad were good friends. Well, there's friendship, and then there's business. Oh, I forgot to give him a message for Grandma. That's all right. Maybe he'll remember the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, take it like a good sport, boy. Your father did. At least I hope so. Right? Come on, relax. Just a minute. What are you doing to Leon? Hey! Sorry, fellas. But I get the ender out of all this. So it's more than worth it to me to turn you in. Don't look so horrified. Watch and see. The party's just about to get to the good stuff. Nine ninety eight, Chief Inspector. Nine ninety nine. The UN Army has engaged them. So the cesspool drove them out after all. With the army backing us, we should have no problem now. Let's get on it right away. John Carter, you're all mine. <laughs>
<laughs> Big dumb ox. But he sure has heart. Daddy? Just hold it all together for me, doll! What? Yeah! Yeah! 